and welcome to the show today. I'm Crystal and uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to do your makeup um, well if you're no longer in your 20s or your 30s. Um, older skin has different needs and there's different things we need to do to make sure that our skin uh, looks its best. So um, I'm going to be using all drugstore makeups and I'm going to be making this as quick as possible and as painless as possible. Um, so yeah, so I've already put on uh, my base products for my face. Um, that would be, I use something under my eyes, um, just like a, like a cream or a gel eye product. Just for moisture and then an all-over face moisturizer Remember, you're not and my face is clean always want to start a clean face um, I take my sponge and I wet it and then um, grab my lovely cover girl foundation will say start in the middle of the face and work your way out or whatever. Well, I don't think that's really necessary. It's just not how I do it. But you're free to start wherever you are happy. Um, I like to <clears throat> wear a lighter color that matches more my neck than anything else. Um, just because I don't like to wear makeup below my jawline. So I like my makeup just to look nice and even. This, by the way, is just a very simple day look that I'm doing right now. Um, I will do a, an evening look or a glam look or whatever. I can do that later, but um, right now I just want to do a basic day look. Now with older skin, um, it's best to use a beauty blender versus a brush um, and pounce with a damp sponge, okay? Um, pouncing with a damp sponge uh, versus using a brush ensures that we're resting it on the surface as best we can without having to worry about brush lines or without the brush forcing the product into our already existing creases. They're so pretty. I actually hate my, my lines and my wrinkles. These are all new, these forehead wrinkles. Now remember too, the more cosmetics that you put on your face, the more made up you're going to look. So try to buy products that aren't going to be um, heavy or at least aren't going to look heavy. And yes, I am going over my eyelid and under my eye as well. a concealer today. <clears throat> I don't generally use a concealer, but uh, I don't really feel that I need it. And like I said, the less makeup, the better. Uh, I have yet to find a concealer that does not settle into fine lines or enhance lines and creases. Um, though many claim they don't, in my experience, it's just not true. Uh, I worked as a beautician for five years and uh, yeah in my experience they just don't exist all right so once I've got my foundation laid um, I'm just gonna give it a minute to settle I have no problem with people using um, a finishing spray or a fixing spray or a setting spray um, when their skin is older 
um, or I have, would have no problem using that on somebody or a client or whatnot. But um, when you have older skin, I really advise against using setting powder unless it's very finely milled. Um, and even in that case, I would go with it very, very sparingly and only on very special occasions like a wedding, a graduation, um, you know, a day where it, you're going to be wearing makeup 15 to 18 hours with lots of photos and people constantly, you know, in your face. Um, but again, this is just a day look. In that case, that situation where you're going to be using um, set setting products, um, or it's going to be an extended day or a heavy makeup wear day. I also recommend primer for older skin. I didn't prime my face for this, um, but it's a really light product, so I'm not using anything heavy or anything that I'm concerned is going to settle into anything. Like, I'm more or less the same creasy as I was before. So now that that's had a minute to settle, I'm just going to grab my brushy brush and my Revlon Lush. I'm going with a coral color, and I can recommend to anybody a coral color is a, a really good color for every woman to have in her arsenal just because um, it's very multi purpose and goes well on everybody. And I'm not going to go overboard, and I'm applying to apples in my cheeks, not under my cheeks, not here where you contour. Like, I'm actually going on the apples of the cheeks. Another tip I can give you about blush, because I, when I worked as a beautician, I had a lot of people question me about um, the color of blush to buy. And a personal recommendation I found for when doing makeup on people for a, a nice natural look, the natural color of your lips, try and find a blush that matches the natural color of your lips and it guaranteed will look good on your whole face and where you apply it. And yes, you can apply blush anywhere you want on your face. All right, um, so moving on. I, um, being a child born in the 70s, have what's known as 90s brows. They're thin. They are sparse, they are over-tweezed, they don't match, they're not even, they're horrific. So like a lot of us, I have to uh, fill them in with a brow liner. Um, I personally go with the gray color. The only reason I go with the gray color is because my eyebrows are actually black. Uh, but I can't put black brows on an old face looks bad. I couldn't even put a black on when I was younger. It, it, it looked bad. Um, so I go with a gray and I try to be as gentle as possible. Not not make it too too obvious.
And this is definitely, for my makeup routine, this is the most time consuming part of my face. I did get microblading done once, um, a few years back. And uh, it hurt real bad. And it looked horrible. And it faded within a couple of months. Like faded to the point where you couldn't even tell I had it done. Like it was virtually gone. So um, I've never gone back to that. And I refuse to get tattooed makeup on just because, at least not on my face. Because uh, <laughs> just because I want my eyebrows to look like this today does not mean I'm going to want them to look like that when I'm 90. So, um, yeah, I'm not really interested in going there. Um, but if you've gone there and you've had success, good on you. So next, I'm going to use this palette and put a little color in my eyes. Um, <clears throat> this one is available at uh, Shopper's Drama. I just start with a neutral or a nude base, something you barely see and I use very little of it. Again, less is more. Less makeup and wear. Better. Sorry for all the noise. All three of my kids are running around playing tag with me. Okay, so I got my base on. Doing day look, so I'm just gonna test my brush and see what I've got on there. You don't want to go with a lot of color, just because it's. Uh, deep. So I'm just gonna go in my crease and just go back and forth along my crease with a very light, light color. Um, the only reason why I even bother doing this is because my eyes have really changed shape in the last few years. Uh, gravity is doing its thing. And uh, with that, um, I don't know, I feel the need to make sure that I have some definition in my face. I, I never used to wear blush when I was younger either. Got older, felt the need to put color back in and make my face look more three dimensional. So, again, just in on the crease, and I'm not using multiple colors, just the nude that I used as my base, and then I'm using kind of like a movie color for. If you have too much on your brush or there's any kind of issue, just remember blend, blend, blend. Blend, blend, blend. Blending fixes all. Okay, so that's pretty much it for that. I'm not putting anything under my eyes. It's a day look. Um, when I was 25, yeah, I could put stuff under my eyes and fit in, you know, going out with eyeliner under my eyes and stuff like that in the middle of the afternoon. It didn't seem wrong. At this stage of my life, um, it makes me look like I'm an old woman trying to look like a young woman. And I don't want that. I would rather people just think I look good for my age versus thinking that I look like I'm trying to be younger or look younger than I am. <laughs> that said, uh, now I'm going to contradict myself. Um, cause I'm gonna use a black eyeliner <laughs> and I'm sure we've all heard this. Anybody over 40 shouldn't wear a black eyeliner. It's inappropriate. Um, yeah, next to that, I got a girlfriend who's like 46 and she I saw her like three weeks ago and she was wearing this um, metallic teal. Oh, looked so beautiful on her. Like. I mean, I couldn't pull it off, but she also has auburn hair and stuff. And I, I'm, I don't know, I'm, I'm more 
into the natural tones. But anyways, I am still gonna wear black, but I'm just gonna wear a little bit. And I'm just going on the outside edge. And I'm going out and up, out and up. Um, anything other than out and up can drag your eye look down and make your eyes look closed or sagging when you're our age. So just a couple little wings. That's all I need. It's a day look. Don't need to look anything more. Um, and then I'm going to use a waterproof mascara today just because I'm taking my kids to the spray park in a bit. So um, I don't do my lower lashes. I used to when I was young. Now I just do my upper lashes. And it goes close to the lash line as possible. I'm do a little bit of back and forth wiggling. And starting to get on there, I let the weight of my eyelid closing bring the uh, lashes down across the brush. And if you are looking for a, 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 a decent um, waterproof mascara, I mean, I have like the world's skimpiest lashes. They're like practically non-existent. Um, and I'm really, really bad at putting on false lashes. Um, but I'll give you a close up. With versus without. And this is a waterproof one. using um, as close to natural light as possible for doing your makeup. Not direct sunlight, but like if you have a, a window that faces away from the sun in your house, um, doing your makeup in front of that window with the blinds open uh, once the sun is up is a really great way um, to, to really know what you're doing here. Getting. So a lot of times if you do your makeup in uh, man-made lighting and then you go outside and you get in the car and you pull the little mirror down to take a look at something, like you smudge something or whatever, you're going to notice that the color is not what it looked like in the house. So. Anyways, okay, so that is my very natural day look. I don't do anything other than that. Um, no lipstick, nothing like that. I just chapstick and that's it. But yeah, um, I like to utilize lipstick for occasions. Um, I like to look as natural as possible. Again, I, I don't want to look like a woman who's, you know, in my 40s trying to look like I'm 20. I just, I don't want that. And I think that we achieve this look. Um, doing what I did here today. At any rate, I hope this was helpful for you. Um, please like and subscribe. Uh, feel free to leave any kind of comments if there's anything you want me to check out, any products you want me to demo, or um, anything you want to see. Remember, this is a channel for all kinds of stuff. So, you know, you, you, you never know what's going to pop up on this channel. So, at any rate, again, Thank you guys for watching and have a great day. Um, stay beautiful.